Want to learn engineering and science? Well, you've tuned in to the right channel. Hit subscribe and press the bell icon and never miss an update from us. Hey guys, what's up? This is your friend and tutor Manas. And in this video, I'm going to tell you about how tangent and normals can be made at any given point in a parabola. So let's see how all of this works out. Here we go. So I've already made a parabola. If you want to learn the methods of construction, I've already made videos on that. Click on the I button at the top right portion of the screen to learn the methods. Now, let's make a point P somewhere here. Okay. What we need to do is we need to drop a perpendicular from point P, which is going to cut this axis somewhere here. Okay. Let's say that the name of this point is A. All right. Next step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep one leg of my compass over here other leg over here and with this much amount as the radii and then with V as center, I'll cut an arc over here. Okay. And this point, I'll call this point as let's say B. All right. And when you join B with P, you'll have yourselves what you call a tangent and perpendicular to this tangent passing through this point P, we're going to have what we call as a normal. Okay. This is absolutely perpendicular and this line is what we call a normal. So this is method one to obtain tangent and normals at any given point P on the parabola itself. Okay. Let's make one more parabola. All right. Now let's locate the point. Here it is point P. Now in this method is also very easy. What you need to do is you need to draw a line from point P, which is absolutely parallel to this axis over here, something like this. Okay. That's it. Fine. Now above this line, Okay. At a height of say one centimeter, I'm going to make a point and below this line also say at a distance of one centimeter, I'm going to make a line, something like this. This is one centimeter below and one centimeter above. There is no specific reason why we are taking it as one centimeter. You can take it as two centimeters above and two centimeters below, but make sure that the distance above is equal to the distance below. So that's the logic. Okay. Now from these two points, you have got to make horizontal lines, which is going to cut this parabola somewhere here. Okay. And somewhere here like this. Exactly here and here. Right. Exactly. Let's say this is a and let's say this is C. Okay. What now needs to be done is that you have to join a with C with the help of simply a line. Right. So what's next? The next step is pretty simple. You have to make a line parallel to this AC line passing through this P okay, or just touching point P on the parabola itself. So this can be accomplished very easily with the help of a simple roller scale, or you can also do it with the help of a mini drafter. So if you're doing this with the help of a mini drafter, listen to the step, keep your drafter, keep one scale of your drafter on this line AC, tighten the screw, move it to this point P and then simply draw a line, which automatically qualifies to be called as a tangent and perpendicular to a tangent we know. Very well, the name of that line, that is a normal, that's it. So guys, that was all from my side for today. If you've got any doubt or query to write them down in the comment section below, I'll be very happy to answer them. And if you believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of engineering drawing, then do share and like this video, subscribe to this channel and also press the bell icon so that whenever I upload a new video, you get a notification. Well, I'm going to be back with more such videos on drawing and mechanics. Until then, it's a wrap. This is Manas Patnaik signing off. Take care, have a great day and keep learning, keep drawing.